Let me show you a secret world, the stuff that dreams are made of. They're little people with full-sized hearts. There's nothing to be afraid of. You may not see them, but they're right here, up each day at the crack of dawn, hurrying busily all around you. Welcome to our home. I'm sorry David isn't here to greet you. My husband is a doctor and he's gone to take a thorn out of a deer's hoof. To tell you the truth, I'm worried. He expected to be back by now. He said he'd be here by 12 o'clock. One o'clock? Oh, I hope nothing has happened to him. I've got to do something to take my mind off it. I've already tidied up the linen chest. No point in doing it again, and I've drawn all the well water I'll be needing. <gasps> I'm sure David is all right. He's got our faithful fox Swift with him. <gasps> it took longer than I thought to get this thorn out of the deer's hoof. We're going to be late. I know Lisa will be worried. Let's take a shortcut, Swift. Mm. That way is shorter. But it looks like troll country. Trolls may be a hundred times bigger than gnomes, but we're a thousand times smarter. They won't catch us, huh, Swift? Oh, no. There's no danger. You can outrun a troll any old day of the week, Swift. We'll take the shortcut, and believe me, nothing's going to happen to us. <laughs> yes, we gnomes have super-sensitive noses like the animals. I can follow a scent the same way Swift does. We have noses like radar. We can smell danger from miles away. According to legends and superstitions, there are a lot of strange creatures that live in the depths of the forest, but most of them I've never seen. The elves, for example. Goblins. Ghosts. Dwarves, they look a little like us, but with no beards, of course. The woodland spirits. The mountain spirits. The ancestors. Wizards. Werewolves. The terrible fire spirits. And the fairies. Most of them are just old folk tales, and in all my travels, I've never seen one of them. But there's another kind of creature that really does exist, from the sunny south to the barren north, those ugly and vicious trolls. <laughs> Little creatures have to be protected from them, and even larger animals sometimes find them a nuisance. I've warned mankind about them several times because they do a lot of damage to property. We're usually too fast for them, but if they catch us... Now you can't get away from us! The important thing is not to let them catch us. They've got more nasty tricks up their sleeves than a magician. And they're a lot less fun, too. If I never meet a troll again, it'll be too soon. And if you're lucky, you'll never meet one at all. <laughs> but right now, it smells as if the coast is clear. Of course, I do have a little cold. Maybe we should have stayed on the main road. Do you smell anything, Swift? Theseus are going to be worried about us. Uh-oh. Oh, fun we're going to have. We've got two fox, too. He'll make a lovely 
Let's do it. <laughs> Let's take him back to the cave and walk him off. Oh, and find we're gonna have. We got a gnome and his foxy too. We'll take him home and lock him up and go commit. I know what to do. Thought this place felt like home to do. <laughs> well, we fooled you this time. <laughs> All right, fellow. Let's tie him off. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Leave us alone, you cowardly creeps. When the sun comes up, you'll all be turned into stone. <laughs> It'll be a long time before the sun comes up, and by that time, we'll be deep in our cave. You're the one that said we trolls have bad breath, aren't you? Well, how do you like this? I'll tell you, let's not cook the fox, we'll keep him right on. I'll go first. We've got a lively gnome this time, I wonder if he can sing. <laughs> How do you like your new home? Fancy enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the pretty necklace we got you? Maybe you can't get the key up here. <laughs> Come closer, we got something nice to show you. <laughs> there, how do you like our new dance step? It's called the stomp. Well, not me. I'm too shy to let him see my feet. <laughs> You're a doctor. Let me see you fix those blisters on our feet. <laughs> Now I'm really worried about David and Swift. I'm sure they must be in trouble. I've got to go and find them. Hello, Pigeon. Have you seen my husband and Swift? Thank you. Hello, Gentle Dove. Have David and Swift come by this way? Oh. Oh, please, Clever Raven, have you seen David? No? Oh, dear, there's no sign of them anywhere. It's very strange that no one has seen them. David! Swift! Where are you? Has anybody seen David? Yes? Oh, wonderful! And are they on their way home? What? What's that? Hmm, that's a P. What does a P stand for? Oh, the purple forest. Oh, that's a dangerous place. Oh, dear, what has happened to them? Are they in some kind of trouble? Oh, I might have known. The trolls have captured them, right? Oh, dear. I don't suppose there's any way to rescue them. Ah! Yes! Come on and help me. I need you. Follow me. for me. Oh my, I hope I can get there before they have to go through any unpleasantness with those wicked trolls. You never know what they'll be up to next. Oh, I wish these geese would hurry. I hope my little plan will work. It's not much of a plan, but those trolls are so dim-witted they'll fall for anything. Ah, there's the entrance to their cave. Goodbye, dear friends, and thank you for all the help you've given me. Safe journey back. I'll have to go it alone from here on. Goodbye! Well, we're gonna have fun. Uh, there, 
First we get everything ready, then we have fun! Yeah! ingredient, my special hyena fat. I brought it from India in case of emergency, because trolls will walk a mile for one sniff of this horrible stuff. I could ask him to sing old Lang Syne. Expecting visitors? <laughs> That stuff you got there is hard to find. There's too much there for little me. Have some. Oh, goody, let's go get our spoons. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back. Go, go away. We'll hurry. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. <laughs> You're back already. That's good, because we wouldn't want it to get cold now, would we? <laughs> Whoa. Mm, smells good. Hey, this is genuine article. Yeah, the real stuff. <laughs> it's a veritable taste treat. <laughs> it's important, you know. All the way from India. I want seconds. I want thirds. <laughs> I love these foreign delicacies. What a treat! This is our lucky day! Maybe this witch will come by every Thursday! <laughs> Give me that! Hey, I want last licks! Maybe the little lady will make us another bread! Give it to me! It's me! Me! Go! <laughs> <laughs> And you're wonderful. Never mind that now. The key is up there. Hmm? Oh. Quickly, dear. You'll be free in a jiffy, Swift. Well, maybe two jiffies. Just a minute, Swift.
got a headache. I feel rotten. Make a skate. Let's escape. Our gnome. We'll uh, get you. You can't get away from us. Come back here. Does this mean the party's off? <laughs> through that old boy thank you swift good night i hope swift. you're feeling all See right you in now the morning. listen david why don't you use magic to get rid of those ugly trolls because we're only allowed to use magic to help those that are in trouble you know that of course i know that i just wanted our friends to hear you say it <laughs> I know you're going away from us now, back to your city homes, leaving behind your newfound friends and the cozy world of the gnomes. But I hope you'll come back and see us. You know where to find us now where the innocent forest children play under a leafy bough. You'll find us if you're friendly and share our point of view. But even if nobody sees us, we'll always be watching you. David rushes to save the life of a little girl who has been poisoned. But only a special flower can save her, and to get it, David must travel through the dreaded forest of thorns, battle the serpent of the depths, and finally outwit a dangerous troll. Will David find the medicine? Will he get back in time? Watch David to the rescue, right here next time.